we now need to include our retained earnings in our since period. When you look at the trial balance, they've indicated to us retained earnings on 1 January 2010 of Nulana amounts to 145,000. Therefore, we need to transfer this. Now again, guys, on your timeline, when you look at this, they indicate to us our retained earnings is 145,000. Therefore, this is a movement from 20,000 to 145,000. And this will be an amount of 125,000 retained earnings. I've included my calculation and this 125,000 in our since acquisition retained earnings section. Now, when you look at the trial balance, again, you need to identify any other amounts that we need to transfer. Now, two things again, guys. Your Audrey dividends, which is the 30,000 and the profit for the year, 38416. Now, let's transfer both of these to our analysis of owner's equity. Profit for the year, 38416. Dividends paid, 30,000. We are able to move on to our next section in terms of our intra-group transactions. We can tick off number three. Intra-group transactions. During the current year, Rose Limited sold inventories to Spring Limited. Now we have identified that Rose is our subsidiary and Spring is the parent. They've indicated to us the profit markup of 35% on selling price. Therefore, we have identified that our selling price will represent 100%, our profit 35%. Total intra-group sales for 2010 amounted to 115,000, which we need to eliminate. And they've indicated to us inventories on hand at the end of 31 December 2010 of Spring Limited, which were purchased from Rose, amounted to 45,000 Rand. Now, first, guys, we need to eliminate our intra-group transaction of 115,000. Secondly, we need to eliminate our unrealized profit. Remember, this profit is included in the records of Rose as Rose sold the inventory. Therefore, this will have an effect on the analysis of owner's equity of Rose. And then number three, we need to remember our tax in terms of the unrealized profit. Now on a new page I have included our structure again to ensure that you understand exactly the flow of our transactions. Now when you look at this remember this is upstream rose sell to spring. Now guys what I want you to do is I want you to think about the journal entries in the records of roses accounting and then in the records of spring. I will make use of this to explain the elimination journals. In the separate records of rows, rows will debit cost of sales and credit inventory, decrease in inventory, debit bank and credit sales. Okay, so guys, in the separate records of spring, spring will debit inventory and credit bank. Remember, these journals are not required. I include them to explain to you the elimination journal. Now, when we need to eliminate the sales, the 115,000 sales, in our group, our sales will have to decrease. Therefore, if our sales decrease, we need to debit our sales with a 115000 and we need to credit our cost of sales. Remember, no abbreviations, guys. I do this to save us some recording time. 115000. Now we need to eliminate the unrealized profit that is still included in the closing balance of the inventory. Now, what does this mean, guys? We have inventory in the group to the value of 45,000 Rand, not sold 
to a third party outside the group. Therefore, guys, on this 45,000, there is profit recognized in the records of rows. And this inventory is overstated in our group with a profit portion because rows and spring are technically now one. Okay, now when we have to recognize the unrealized profit, we need to decrease our inventory. Therefore, we need to credit the inventory. Statement of financial position. And this is in the records of spring. And we need to debit our cost of sales and our profit or loss. Now, what is the amount? It's the 45,000. And then they've indicated to us in the given scenario, profit markup of 35% on selling price. Therefore, selling price represents 100% and our profit 35%. If selling price represents 100%, I'm sure you will agree with me that this 45,000 represents the 100%. Therefore, this will be 35 over 100. And this will be a value of 15750. We need to remember our tax journal. Now, when we debit our cost of sales, if our cost of sales increase, this is an expense, this will result in a decrease, in a decrease in our profit. If there's a decrease in our profit, this will result in a decrease in our tax. If our tax decrease, we will have to credit our income tax, an expense decrease on the credit side, in our profit and loss and we need to debit our deferred tax and our statement of financial position and this will be the 15750 times 28% and this is an amount of 4410. Now this will be my journal entry number one, journal entry number two and journal entry number three. Now, guys, we are currently busy with our part C of the requirement. And we have completed our intra-group transaction number one. Right, let's move on to our next intra-group transaction. We have Nulana that purchased all its inventories from Spring. Therefore, guys, Spring is the investor that sells to Nulana. We have identified from the trial balance that the closing balance is 47,000 that is still included in Nulana's records. Therefore, we need to eliminate the unrealized profit. Remember the tax and very important, only the percentage owned. They've indicated to us it's 25% markup on cost price. Therefore, cost represents 100%, our profit 25%, and our selling price 125%. Again, you will identify that I've included my structure for you to be able to identify that this is a downstream transaction. Okay. So guys, when you look at this, I want you to first always think about the journal entry in the separate records of the seller and the separate records of the buyer. Now, when you look at spring and spring's records, we will debit our cost of sales, credit inventory. Our inventory decrease as this inventory is transferred to Nulana. We will debit bank and we will credit our sales. In the records of Nulana, Nulana will debit increase inventory and credit bank. Now, very important, we have to remember that we only eliminate 40% of the unrealized profit. Yeah, so guys, when you look at this, 
Spring sells to Nulana, then you need to know, immediately identify, that this will have an effect on your investment in associate line item in the records of Spring. Now, if we need to eliminate this transaction, in Spring's records, there's profit included that does not exist because Spring sold this to Nulana. Therefore, we need to take out that profit. If we need to take out the profit, we will have to debit our sales, decrease sales in our profit and loss. And we need to credit our cost of sales in our profit and loss. Important, this will be the 47,000 times 40%. And to calculate your cost of sales, they've indicated to us, guys, remember, when you look at the left side of your screen, our cost represents 100%, selling price 125%. Therefore, you will have to times this by 100 over 125. And what account will you credit with a balancing figure? You will have to credit your investment in associate with 3760. Now, gosh, you will be able to calculate this. This will be the 18,800 times 25 over 125. Okay, now, very important, your tax journal. Now, when you think about your tax journal, if you look at this journal entry, our sales decrease, our cost of sales decrease, result in a decrease in our profit. If our profit decrease, our tax will decrease. Therefore, we will have to credit our income tax in our profit and loss and we need to debit our deferred tax in our statement of financial position. 3760 which we have calculated in the previous journal times 28% and this will be 1053. Now guys let's reference our journals this will be journal number 4 and journal number 5. Now, a very important thing, when you look at journal number four, the sales and cost of sales will be recognized in Springs records. Okay? We will not transfer these amounts to your analysis of owner's equity to affect your profit. Guys, listen to what I'm telling you. When you look at your analysis of owner's equity of Nulana, those journals, journal number three and four, will not have an effect on the profit. Okay? It will only have an effect on the investment and associate line. Therefore, on the solution, you will identify that I have transferred the journal purely to be able to calculate the investment balance. Now, when I credit the investment in associate, this is a decrease in the balance, guys. But important, will this be a decrease in the total column or a decrease in the since column? This will be a decrease in the since column, guys, because this only relates to the investor. This only relates to the investor. This investment in associate journal, journal number four, does not have an effect on the profit of Nulana.